Morning folks, Dave Soap is brought to us from uh, Regiment and I've got the scent description down below as well as a link if you want to check out some Regiment's uh, soaps. Comes in a, uh, I think this is, yeah, three and a half ounces in a uh, screw top tin and um, the side, the, uh, as it goes for the aftershave, the side that I would find got water on. Uh, follow up with uh, Floyd uh, Vigoroso and uh, of course I got a link down below. Uh, if you're wondering, this particular uh, aftershave comes by the way of Spain. Uh, so it's not the easiest to find, but it is possible to find some. Uh, I've got it whipped up here in the fine lathering bowl. Whipped up pretty good with another uh, brush from Omega. <laughs> it's a board brush. It's the same color as the uh, one I used in the last video. It's just a different shape handle. And um, like I say, it's, it's a little on the wet side. But it might be close to being drippy, but not quite. It whipped up pretty good. Has a nice scent to it. And the reason why I picked uh, Floyd uh, Vigoro to go with uh, this particular soap is uh, not because the soap scent will match by any means. Soap and aftershave is more like uh, Vigoro soap. That's what I'm needing this morning. Two cups of coffee probably this morning instead of one. <laughs> Just to get going. And uh, also which I haven't had any coffee just yet. Um, oh, by the way, this is Wednesday morning hump day. And um, got a little bit of water here. Uh, I was slinging water everywhere, lather and everything else. But anyway, Shaver Day. This is a Razor Rock uh, Hawk. Uh, this is the version two. This one here is aluminum and uh, it has the uh, Kai, I just shortened up the title, Kai Pink. I like to say I've got information down below. And as a, if you're unfamiliar with this, th more or less, this is three piece. Some people might argue four because this knob down here at the end, it actually will screw loose. You can kind of see it right there without taking it all the way out. So if for some reason, if you wanted to remove that to make the handle shorter or whatever the case might be, put it in a stand, uh, you could do something like that. But more or less, it's a three piece design. Really easy to put the uh, blade in. It takes Feather Artist Club uh, blades, style blades in there. I just use a Kai Pink in there. If you go to uh, Italian Barber, and if you're looking for one of these, it comes in black, silver, green, and blue. And they, they are listed separately. So in other words, it's not like you click on one and there's a drop down box for various different colors. They're all separate listings. And uh, down below, I had noticed that it also will suggest using uh, picking up a dispenser of uh, Kai Pink. And there's 20 blades in a dispenser, and I think it's on sale. Last time I looked for 15 bucks for the for 20 blades instead of just uh, uh, instead of 20 dollars for 20 blades. And um, but at any rate, uh, I'll go ahead and what the face and get started here. I have. Uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. This is the Holiday uh, Pre-Shave Cube. Got some got a whisker or something up there. <laughs> anyway, um, this is what I'm going to use this morning to get started with my pre-shave routine. I've already put a hot towel to the face this morning. That's what I typically do uh, when it comes to my pre-shave routine. It works well for me. Uh, it's just something I discovered a while back that seemed to make a world of difference. And I guess you might say softening up the whiskers and preparing the face for the shave and uh, pre-shave soap just I guess you might say just makes things just a little bit easier it might work well for you it may not uh, you might get tired of using it this particular cube is a lot smaller than what I started out with because it started out with being eight ounces and that's a lot of pre-shave soap but if you're into using pre-shave soaps eight ounces is a good thing <laughs> it means you buy less of it over the over a period of time. It does last quite a while. As goes for my pre-shave routine, uh, hot towel to the face is usually what I one of the things I use. And sometimes I will use pre-shave oil. Sometimes it's the pre-shave cube. I've found benefits for both of them, depending on what kind of shaves you have that you're going through, and also what. Uh, the skin condition slash whisker condition that you have. I noticed for me, it seems like uh, the uh, post-shave with a uh, shave head or with a uh, straight razor 
I find that it seems like uh, I like the pre-shave oil as opposed to the pre-shave soap. I like both of them, but I just prefer one over the other depending on what kind of shave I've got. It is just for me. <laughs> for you, it might be totally different. You may not need or appreciate any pre-shave soap at all. As it goes for scents when it comes to Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, uh, you can get it in various different scents. You can get it menthol, non mentholated. And I don't know if there's still any available in the way of uh, like rabbit banana or anything quite like that, peach. And for me, as it goes for the scent, I still smell the holiday in this pre shaved cube that I've had for a while. It's just sitting over here on the shelf out in the open so it does a good job of retaining the scent over a period of time there we go I think that's going to get us started there and yes I am a pretty much a painter uh, one of these days in the near future I'll try to I say near future maybe by the end of the month uh, try to do a, uh, a shave with a, a soap stick Do a face lather, in other words. I am not the best at face lathering. It is really interesting if you watch some videos. Uh, some folks are enjoy doing the face lathering, and they don't. And they're not, they don't feel like they're very good at bowl lathering. And for me, I'm just not very good at face lathering. <laughs> I enjoy the bowl lathering. It seemed to come pretty easy to me. As it goes for blades, um, I don't know. If this particular um, shaver, I've never tried any, so in other words, I don't know, and it might tell you down in uh, description whether this will take a blade that is like, in other words, a feather guard. Um, I've never tried one of those, so I don't know if that would work in this or not. I don't recall seeing one way or the other. It could have said it, and maybe I just missed it, and it's quite possible that that's the case. Since I don't use that blade kind of blade, I don't, don't pay a whole lot of attention to it. And from time to time, it crosses my mind to give them a try just to see what kind of difference they might be. I'm kind of thinking that the probably the difference would be that uh, with a guard, it's got, you know, a little bit of metal, I guess you might say, allowing a little bit more separation between the blade and your skin with a, with a guard. And um, kind of wonder how close that shade would be. As it goes for efficiency, um, it's already taken down quite a bit on the first pass. Second pass, if you uh, kind of do, uh, I guess you might say, an alteration of your normal direction, at least for me, I think I might be able to... Uh, wrap this shave up in two passes if I was, but there's one thing I have noticed that uh, I do enjoy the uh, being able to have three passes and enjoy the scent of the soap. <laughs> that is one thing about a two-pass shave. You do miss out. Spend a little bit more time with the uh, scent of your soap. And for me, it's a routine using three pass but I'm sure I could do two pass and just something that one of these days if I ever decide to go out with that on a regular routine I'll have to practice at it if you will get my system set up and what works best for me which you know for a lot of folks a two pass shave just might work just fine not everybody has a in other words the I guess you might say the beard growth that I may have I have places, in other words, this right here is the mostly densely populated area of uh, hair. But the further I get away, the less dense it gets. But it's still, it's still fairly well populated. And uh, you have to be pretty proficient at being able to get around stuff like that and not end up with weepers and whatnot. 
I know for me back when I, this was a long time ago, because I've had, I've had this going on for over 20 years. And at one point in time, not too long ago, back in 2015, in other words, had a full beard and had a, it for quite a while. So, uh, facial hair has been a thing for me for a very long time. There's really not much left. I got a spot right here. But matter of fact, both sides right through here. In other words, when I do my against the green pass, I'll catch that. There's just really not much left. My cheeks are very smooth. Got a little bit right down through here. In other words, the shave's already done. In my opinion, this particular shaver is pretty, uh, pretty efficient. And as it goes for price, it's running, I guess you might say the everyday price is running right around the $30 mark. So it's not a real expensive uh, shaver. If you look at it, it's kind of, and you'll have to figure out how many, how many shaves you get per blade, whether that's going to work out for you or not in your budget and your, I guess you might say, frame of mind, whether you want to get started in something like this with this particular shaver. Um, seems to be pretty efficient for me fairly smooth there is a blade feel to the shaver I could be wrong but I think this is probably one of the most inexpensive uh, shavers you could get in using the Feather Irish Club blade But it is a specially tight blade. In other words, it doesn't fit in all the razors that you may find on the market. So that is something to consider. It doesn't take DE blades. It doesn't take injector blades. It does not take gem style blades. So it is something to think about. Even though um, the blades will come in at a dispenser. Uh, the dispenser itself does not aid in, in putting the blade into the shaver. Since it is a three-piece design. In other words, it's not like a, a Feather Artist Club uh, Shavette. That is very smooth. It's, for me, in other words, just a, uh, the same routine that I would normally do, a three-pass shave. I can get a very close, very smooth shave nick free just you know what some would consider just an automatic pilot type shave where you don't have to give it a whole lot of thought it seemed like the angle was pretty much uh, natural to me the pressure just in other words everything just seemed to come together with especially when i first started shaving with it i was just for me i was just kind of amazed how how nice it was to use i thought that I would struggle with the weight because usually with lightweight shavers I have a hard time getting the pressure correct without end up uh, with uh, you know basically some places where there's going to be a lot of stinging too much pressure or not enough it's not quite the struggle that I expected and I got just a little bit of stinging but not a whole lot right through there nothing to really be concerned about in other words that I need to adjust on how I shave with this particular shaver. And uh, this uh, Sterling Unscented Witch Hazel, but it is methylated, so it is going to give you that nice cooling effect. Uh, it is noticeable. If you've never tried it, it, it is uh, noticeable. In other words, if you're not into menthol, this may be a bit much for you because it is a very noticeable cooling effect at least for me it is i like it i enjoy it it's matter of fact i plan on doing a shave here pretty soon uh, sterling offers a uh, uh a soap that's called obsidian i haven't seen it listed in a while but they also have another one called black ice and uh, i really enjoy that one they're both uh, mentholated ones more so than the other it seemed like it but anyway boy those are a lot of fun to use. <clears throat> Here we go with uh, Floyd Vigoroso. It is methylated. <laughs> Imagine that. The other scent uh, along with this, it is methylated, but it's a barbershop scent. 
barber shop scents, in my opinion, are a lot like uh, Bay Rum. There's a whole lot of different scents when it comes to Bay Rum, and uh, to me, barber shop scents are the same way. But this one here is uh, methylated. That's another reason why you picked this one out. And this uh, glass container, it has its own restrictor to it. There's not another additional plastic part added to it. Uh, I do appreciate the glass container. That makes it pretty nice. Going price generally that I have found not on sale would be right around the $20 mark. $20, $22, somewhere right in there. But like I say, it's not always the easiest find to, uh, to be able to find a Floyd. Uh, got my started on Floyd with uh, not Floyd Blue, which is uh, no, no longer in production, but Floyd Black. I uh, got started with that one there, and boy, that is a, just an awesome scent. Uh, matter of fact, if you've seen PAA, Phoenix Artists and Accoutrement, they came out with their version of Soap and Aftershave, and it's Droid. And uh, yes, I'm telling you, that is an awesome. I, I haven't smelled that particular scent, but I have Floyd Black, and it is a really nice scent. But Anyhow, if you decide, to me, this is not a bad bad start to go to. It is awesome. It smells wonderful. It does have that barbershop type scent to it. Works well with my nose along with the menthol. So menthol, menthol, everything is just working great on my face. Feels wonderful. Hope everybody's doing well this morning. Stay healthy, stay safe, and smooth shades to you.